Dane County Boys and Girls Club volunteers are continuing their journey to Texas. They'll deliver $350,000 in donations to Harvey flood victims. Arvelina Jones is traveling with the organization and joins us live from Hope, Arkansas, just a little outside Little Rock. Arvelina? Well, hi, Eric and Susan. We are about six hours away from Austin, Texas. And let me tell you, we have been traveling all day. We're a little bit delayed, and that's because the Boys and Girls Club received so many donations that one of their semis was actually overweight by 17,000 pounds. So these volunteers have actually been working through the night to redistribute the weight to different trucks. Now today has been a lot of driving again for these volunteers. We have gone through St. Louis, Missouri. We're just outside of Little Rock, Arkansas, and we're inching closer and closer to Texas. Just hope that, uh, that we can do what we can to help make a difference. I don't think I'm gonna feel good about things until we're headed back to Madison. And I know that we have helped a lot of people. Now, the group will partner with the Boys and Girls Club in Austin, Texas, who will provide 150 volunteers to unload these trucks and distribute an estimated 150,000 donated items to local shelters in the area. This afternoon, in the afternoon, groups will set off for Port Arthur and Houston to pick up five more people currently stuck in the area and bringing them back home to Madison to be with their families. Now, in total, the group plans to bring seven people back to Madison. So once that stuff is taken out of both the trucks and the semis, we'll have extra room to bring these people back home so they can, you know, regather themselves as they try to rebuild their lives from what they lost in Houston. Very exciting to see those folks helping oh, yeah. out in a big way. That's Valina Jones live in Hope, Arkansas. Valina, thank you. Safe travels, Valina. You can follow Valina, by the way, on the road to Houston with the Boys and Girls Club. She'll be posting updates on her Twitter and Facebook page, as well as continuing live reports here on News 3 and online on Channel3000.com.